video and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cache collection script. Now this is not actually like a leaderboard so whenever you join the game it is going to take a second to start because it is oh I and now it's almost like I get copyright too because of that. But as you see, it doesn't show up over there. And it is actually blocked in the studio. But let me see if I take away the command bar. Okay, yeah, so even if I do that, it doesn't show up in the studio because the studio is a little bit too small. But the reason for that is because in the Roblox, whenever you actually launch your main game, it's a little bit bigger than the studio. And since this is a hard-coded game, which that means that it's going to stay in the same spot for everybody. It's not like relative to how big their screen is. Um, so let me come over here. and It's not actually published there. And I'm going to show you guys what you're going to be making. So a lot of systems have this... A lot of games have this system in their game, and the reason for that is because you don't really want it to be a leader stat system. You want it to be its own system, and I'm actually going to go ahead and turn down my volume here because I do have an intro when you join the game. Now, my game is kind of a big game, so give it a minute to load, but as you can see, whenever you join the game, it is not a leader stat system. But you see down here next to my inventory bar, how it says 636. Now this game is actually taking forever to load, especially because I just added in a new Boshi animation. So I'm going to have to fix this taking forever to load. But I also have like 20 tabs open. Um, but this 636 down here, this is actually the Galleon. So what this does is this gives, for every 60 seconds that I'm in the game, which is equal to one minute, so those of you that aren't in the USA, I don't know if you guys are on the metric system or whatever. But as you can see, I stayed in the game and it just went up by one coin. And I do have this boss animation here doing its own thing. That I'm going to be making. I actually think I have a video on that already. So if you guys want to make your own custom boss animations, go check that out. Um, but let's get back into it. And as you can see, it's not a leader stat. It's its own thing. It's its little own picture with 637. So let's get down to that and it doesn't show it in the studio like I said. So I'm going to have all of this code in the description minus the part where it says robbing because my game actually has a feature that if you walk into the bank you can start robbing the bank and it will give you a little bit of money whenever you walk out of the bank. Um, so essentially what you're going to want to do is copy the everything that's in the description and put it in your server script service as a leaderboard and you can change this where it says wait you can change this to whatever you want if you change this to one second it's going to give them money every single second so i just have it as 60 seconds for one minute and also what you're actually what i might do is what you guys can do is instead of having to copy all of this uh, scripts is I'm going to leave a link in the description and you can actually just go download my full model. So I actually have a model of my full game and you can copy any script that you want. So literally everything that is in my game, feel free to take it. And what this, all this stuff is, is like data persistence. This is actually saving the game this is saving everything in the game so hopefully uh you guys will enjoy and yeah i think it'll actually be a lot easier if i just leave a, a download link so yeah i'm gonna be leaving a download link guys go download it thanks for watching leave a like leave a comment and subscribe for more that'd be a good way